name is Kay Short and welcome to Short Talk Sunday. Today I'm just going to be creating a video that I've been meaning to create um, for a really long time now and basically it's a video to everybody that I've met the past couple years since I've been in Phoenix. I never knew how I was going to make this video, I wasn't sure if it was going to be in video form, if it was going to be on podcast form, or if it was just going to be an Instagram post. But I feel like it's important for me to do it in video form because I want the people to know, like to see my face, to hear the tone of my voice, to, to actually hear the sincerity in my heart um, when I say that I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I ever made you feel some type of way. Hold on, there's someone coming out of their car. This is super awkward. Give me one second. Another thing I wanted to add was that I was at work an hour early and thankfully I live only two minutes away from my job but for whatever reason I got there early and I still had an hour until work. I was able to come back and figure out something to do with my time and so I think this is very ironic that this is the thing that I'm choosing to do with my time and and it's a post I've been really wanting to do for a long time but what I'm trying to say is I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I pushed you too hard. if I expected more from you, if I had high expectations, if I wanted to raise the bar and have higher standards, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry if that made you feel some type of way. Um, whatever that felt, if that made you feel inadequate, if that made you feel pressure, if, you, if, you, if that made you feel, oh gosh, what are other emotions you could feel when you get that kind of push? Um, but what I'm trying to say is I, I don't know how you felt. And, um, and I think the big thing that I'm learning is that I can't change anything about myself if people don't tell me what I need to change about myself. You know, of course, present it in a loving way, you know? I feel like I tried my best to do that, but it always got misconstrued as something else. And I just wanna clarify that at the end of the day, like if there is no such thing as YouTube, if there's no such thing as radio, if there's no such thing as entertainment, if there's no such thing as any of this BS of social media, At the end of the day, if there was only an occupation I had to choose, I am a teacher. I'm a teacher and I'm an educator and I'm a mentor and I'm a coach. That is ultimately who I know that I'm supposed to be in this world. Now, how I do it, where I do it, and what spaces I do it in, that's completely different. And so I just want y'all to recognize that it never came from a space of inadequacy, of saying like, you're not enough. That's not what I was saying. I was saying you were more than capable of enough. You have so much potential. You can reach for the stars. You can do anything that you want to do. You you just need a little bit of guidance, a little bit of accountability, and a little bit of discipline. And honestly, just a lot of less of excuses. And that's all, that's a lot of what I was hearing for the past couple years is excuses from people from why they could or could not do anything, you know? And and that's perfectly fine. Keep your excuses. You know what I mean? If that's, if that's something that you want to hold on to your crutch for, but at the same time, I just want you to recognize and that I never wanted to come at you saying that you weren't capable of, of these things. It's because I knew that you were capable of these things. It was honestly because I believed in you. Like, that's what it was. Like, I believe in you just as much as I believe in myself, you know? And so, and so I learned from this experience for the past couple of years working with creatives. I've learned that... Yeah, creatives are just a little different, to be completely honest. Like... Not to say that they're special or anything like that. I'm not saying that because everyone, you know, is unique in their own way and they and, and they need to be held lovingly in all the different ways. I mean, there's some people that prefer the straightforward and the honesty, you know, and I feel like that's the route that I took um, with some people. And then I tried becoming a little softer and then I got taken advantage of. So it's like, yeah, so it, I've learned a lot these past couple years. And so I guess, you know, what I'm trying to say is I never came from an ill place like I never wanted wanted to diminish a relationship or a friendship just because I had higher standards for us you know because I because I wanted to be surrounded by greatness because I wanted to be surrounded by people that were willing to put in the work because I wanted to be surrounded by people that had less excuses and more action and so I if I couldn't you know if I couldn't find those people whatever I was gonna help build those people you know I was gonna help you know, I was gonna help, yeah, I was gonna help build those people. I was gonna, you know, be their buddy. I was gonna be their workout buddy. I was gonna be their accountability buddy or whatever that looks like. And and so forgive me if if it just came off the wrong way. Cause that is, 
That is not what I meant. That, that's not what I meant, you know? And so when I think about, like, when I think of um, a movie, I think of Mean Girls, of that lady. She's like, I'm a pusher, Katie. I'm a pusher. And I am. And, and, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I wanted what's best for us. I'm sorry that what I, I'm sorry for wanting what I thought was best for us. You know what I mean? Whatever project that we were collaborating on, whatever show we were doing, whatever it was, you know, sorry for my perfectionism. Sorry, you know what I mean? That I just, I wanted more and I had higher expectations. But one thing I definitely learned this past couple of years is to not have expectations from anybody. And that the only expectations I should have and, and higher my expectations from people is just the dude up above. Like, that's it. Like, that's, that's definitely something that I was like, man, I can't ask these from from people, you know, I could ask it of myself, you know, but I can't even, but I can't even ask it of myself, you know what I mean, like I have to, I can only have high expectations of God, and that's it, so what I'm trying to say is I'm sorry, I really am sorry, and uh, I'm just sorry that it's shitty, because like, for the past two years, I put so much time into people, so much time into people. And the moment that I step away to work on my own stuff, after helping everyone else with their stuff, I'm literally left alone. Like, which is so crazy to me. And I don't, I don't know what I did to set that up for myself. I don't know what I did to invest in, in two years worth of relationships and to, to get ready for my next big move and not have a community or some sort of support system or even a few couple good friends, even just two good friends that came out of all this, you know? I mean, I did, don't get me wrong. For those of you who are really there, I'm just saying, you all know that I've met a lot of people these past couple years. And the fact that I'm coming out with, you know, slim to none of a couple people. And, and you know what, maybe that's just, that's just the truth. That's just what it is. Maybe if I had a classroom, I don't came out with a couple good students, a couple good students that just got it and that are willing to keep in touch with me over the years, that's gonna come back during their graduation, during a high school who's gonna come back during their graduation and college, who's gonna come back when they become this awesome and amazing thing in life and, and they're pursuing what they wanna do and they're just gonna come back and be like, yo, if it weren't for you pushing me and expecting more from me, then I wouldn't be where I am today. So maybe that's just the truth. That's just the truth. And again, it goes back to not having any expectations. But I just think it's sad. Put so much time in other people's dreams. And towards the end of this this run in Phoenix. I don't know, I don't know where they're at. You know, but it's cool. It's cool. It's it's time to it's time to move on. I'm excited. I'm excited to, to move on and actually work on my stuff now. So anyways, I just wanted to make this video, let you know that I'm sorry. And to be honest. If this made you, again, feel some type of way, one, tell me, tell me so I can work on my delivery, and two, I'm just hurt too. I'm just hurt too. So, my name is Kay Short. Thanks for watching. This is not the way that I wanted to start off my 2018 videos, but it's the truth. It's the truth. If you want to follow me on social media, you can follow me at k.short. And, uh... If you want to talk and talk about the misunderstanding we had, please hit me up. Let me know so I can work on becoming a better version of myself. Bye.